The first thing you probably think of when you see the words night vision is a spy or action movie you've seen, in which someone straps on a pair of night vision goggles to find someone else in a dark building on a moonless night. In order to understand night vision, it is important to understand something about light. The amount of energy in a light wave is related to its wavelength. Shorter wavelengths have higher energy. Of visible light, violet has the most energy, and red has the least. Just next to the visible light spectrum is the infrared spectrum. With the proper night vision equipment, you can see a person standing over 200 yards away on a moonless cloudy night. Night vision can work in two very different ways, depending on the technology used. Image enhancement. Image enhancement amplifies existing light. This makes images easier to see. Even on the darkest nights, tiny bits of light are present. Some of this light may be infrared light that people can't see. Night vision goggles using image enhancement technology collect all the available light. Then, they amplify it so that you can easily see what's going on in the dark. Thermal imaging. You know that this technology has to do with heat. Hot objects, including human bodies, give off some heat in the form of infrared light. Night vision goggles use thermal imaging technology to capture that infrared light. This way, you can see an image of what's going on in the dark. It's based on the amount of heat being made by objects. Thermal imaging works well when trying to see people in the dark. It's also better suited for the darkest conditions. Most night vision goggles, however, use image enhancement technology. In theory, night vision goggles boost a dim, dark scene in a series of simple steps. 1. Dim light from a night scene enters the lens of the front. The light is made of photons, particles of light, of all colors. 2. As the photons enter the goggles, they strike a light-sensitive surface called a photocathode. It's a bit like a very precise solar panel. Its job is to convert photons into electrons, the tiny subatomic particles that carry electricity around a circuit. 3. The electrons are amplified by a photomultiplier, a kind of photoelectric cell. Each electron entering the photomultiplier results in many more electrons leaving it. 4. The electrons leaving the photomultiplier hit a phosphor screen, similar to the screen in an old-fashioned television. As the electrons hit the phosphor, they create tiny flashes of light. Since there are many more photons than originally entered the goggles, the screen makes a much brighter version of the original scene. Night vision technology has many uses for the military and law enforcement. For example, it can be used to find people in the dark. It's also helpful for navigation and surveillance. Night vision can also be used for hunting and watching animals after dark. You probably noticed that it had a green glow. Night vision goggles are made with screens that produce green pictures. That's because human eyes are better suited to looking at green pictures for long periods of time. Night vision goggles can definitely help with that problem. They're not just for spies and soldiers. Everyday people use night vision goggles for many purposes. Maybe you'll get to try a pair for yourself one day. If you like the video give the thumbs up and share with your friends. For more videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.